The Ethereum ETF has been delayed. The SEC has asked for resubmission of the S1 forms by July 8th. Now they could get um, submitted earlier than that, but they have up until July 8th to do so. And then of course, we'll wait for the SEC to review those forms and then allow these ETFs to trade. So we're not going to get the ETFs opening tomorrow as was suspected last week. It could be as late as uh, July 8th before we get any news in regard to when this ETF will come out. That is not stopping Ethereum from going up over the weekend, though. Let's take a look at Bitcoin as well. It seems to be breaking out here. So this is the Bitcoin chart. Let me turn this let me get that off. All right. Bitcoin chart here. You can see we have this downtrend here, and I said we need to get above it and hold above it, and we have done that. Sometime yesterday, we went up into the $63,000 range, and then today we are holding it. Now we're just, we're holding it in an ugly candle with a really big wick on top. I don't like today's candle. I would like to see this price creep up to like 63.2, 63.5 and close. Honestly, I would really like to see it close above 63.150, which would be close to the top of the body of this really big red candle here from June 24th. I would like to see that on Bitcoin to feel confident about this. But take a look here. It came down to the center of my big descending cha uh, descending channel here that's been here for a long time. And guess what? It went roll right up to the top of it, almost touched it, and then failed. Uh, this is going to be where we struggle now. It's at the top of this descending channel. When we get above this descending channel, when we get above it, that's when we move up quickly to $70,000 again. Now, this was a big uh, point of... of that was a big point for Bitcoin here to get over is this yellow descending line. And that is good. That means that this big aggressive downtrend is ending. As long as we stay above this for the next for today and tomorrow, if we can hold above this today and tomorrow, I don't think that we'll revisit back below this aggressive trend line again. Now we could revisit 60, but it would be a significantly less aggressive move than it was before on Bitcoin. So that's what's going on there. We are currently looking good. And uh, a lot of the Bitcoin related assets are showing that as well. Let's take a look at Ethereum. Ethereum also has broken out of its descending line here. Um, now I could draw it a little bit more. I mean, even if I go to here, it's out of it. Um, so yeah, no, it's out of it. It's out of it. It kind of went flat. It came up again. I'd expect Ethereum maybe to tap this line down here at 3,400 again, but I do think that this selling seems to have slowed. Potentially, it looks like it's curling back over again. Let me get my red K volume viewer up here. There it is. All right. Yeah, volume started turning green about a day or two ago. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. I like this. I like all this. This is great. I like the way Ethereum looks right now. It looks like it's poised to start going back up and revisit the, the $4,000 level here on that. Now, let us do a quick round of updates on our favorite Bitcoin miners. I'm just going to cover a couple of them here this morning. This is Bit Digital. You can see Bit Digital here in the pre-market because we haven't quite opened yet. I've been having to do pre-market videos lately. It is was up um, a little like three and after market. Let's see. It's up like 3% ish, about 3% from where we closed yesterday. Let's or not yesterday, but Friday. Yeah, we're about 2.8% 2, 2 up in the pre-market. Hopefully we can break above this yellow descending line that I drew here and get above the 20 day moving average and keep on trucking up here on Bit Digital. Let me get a daily chart up as well. Let me bring up a daily. There we go, a daily. Yep, there we go. Yeah, that'd be the 20, what, 40 hour? Yeah, because I'm on the two hour chart here. It'd be about a 40 hour and we need to get above that. And then we can start curling back up again. Here on the daily chart, honestly, all the SMAs are beneath us. The five is holding us as support here. And I think we're just going to bounce along it until the 20 catches up to it. And then we're going to bounce along that thing too. Uh, and I think that we're going to go up into the Fib Bollinger area here, up here. Let me get, I think, yeah. I don't even think we're going to get past it. I think we're going to go past the daily one. I think we're going to go into the weekly one up here somewhere on Bit Digital. All right, let's move on to Bit Farms. How's Bit Farms doing this morning? Bit Farms also up. Let's see how they're doing on the daily for their big. Pre-market move, yeah, they're up from 257 to 2, what is this, 266, 257 to 266 in the morning. I have too many things on this chart right now. Let me get some of this stuff off of here. Let me shoot. There we go. Uh, yeah, we're above the 20-day moving average. Again, that is great. We're above the five-day moving average. Again, that is great. This is giving us room. As long as we can hold above those things, it gives us room to go revisit that 330 area and be on, on Fit Farms. And it's looking good here. We have this descending line here that I drew on here as well. 
that it is getting above and it is holding above. This is looking very much like a bull flag here. We do have that um, the 50 moving average on the two hour that we need, do need to get above um, there. That could be intraday resistance here at uh, 272. Let's take a look at Mara. Mara on the daily is doing great. Oh, wow, wow, that's a nice move. I like that. I like I like this pre-market move here, getting up into this area here. I, I was Like I said, uh, once we got out of this descending channel here, once we get out of this thing, I think that we're going to be looking pretty good. And hopefully today we can finally break out and hold out above it. That would be fantastic for Mara. Yeah, look at this. This is looking good. I like this. We are, we're on this trend line here. Look at how solid that trend line is right there. Like just this yellow dotted line here. Ooh, that's so good. Even if we came back to this, I wouldn't be upset. And then we start just bouncing off of it and then eventually like launch. Ooh, that would be so good. All right. Mara's looking good. Mara's looking good. They're all kind of looking good this morning. I like I like this price action right now. Let's take a look at Clean Spark. Clean Spark also up a little bit down at 1635 though. So it's not up a crazy amount. It's not looking great. It's in that it's been consolidating here in this range for a really long time. And it's continuing to do so. Let's take a look at a smaller time frame. See what's going on. See what's in our way here. Yeah, so this one's been in this on the two hour. You can see it's been in this descending, this descending channel for a little while here. Uh, it needs to get out of this thing and then break up, really, honestly. Uh, but it's been in there for a while. It's trading in the upper half of it. As long as we stay above the 20 and we break the 50, we're going to go to the 200, which is at $17 for the two hour. And that could be some intraday resistance, both of those things, the 50 and the 200, the 50 at 1659 and the 200 at 1696 area. Uh, and once we get above that, though, we're going right back up to 18 and then beyond for clean spark. All right, let's take a look at Riot real quick. Riot is up here, not doing, I mean, all these charts are looking the same, but this one's looking even better. Riot finally making a move I can approve of. Let's take a look here real quick at the daily for Riot. Mm, still not great. It's a kind of a small move on the two hour. It was looking a little more impressive. It, this is actually identical to what Clean Spark looked like, right? Where we had this descending channel, except Riot is like fully breaking out of it, whereas Clean Spark was kind of working on it still. Um, but you can see, yeah, as long as we hold above here, we have room up to that $10 range on Riot. The Riot's got a big upward move that it could make pretty easily, actually, on the smaller time frames. So actually, I like this a lot. Yeah, we could easily move up to almost $10 on Riot just even today if uh, there was any catalyst to do so. And so this is looking good. Uh, anyways, that's all I've got for you today. Please like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and have a profitable day.